Hello and welcome. Welcome to this short little um, tutorial on how you can customize your toolbar, which is really cool. So this here is your toolbar along across the top and you have many options. You also have undo redo over here, which this doesn't go away anywhere. This stays here. But you can change the order and you can even take some of these things away. So I thought I would show you how, how to do that just in a quick little video. So these three dots are really important up the top here. You click the three dots here and then you go into document editing, right, which is down the bottom. So you go into document editing and it brings up this screen and you can see it goes all the way down, but you want toolbar customization. So click anywhere on there. And these are all the options that you can see that are up there. So you can take away, you can remove, you can remove the ruler. You could say, uh, ooh, maybe you don't want the laser pointer. You could just, let's just pretend, let's just pretend you didn't want all of these and I'll show you how to get them back. All right, so you can see down here, you can see them here. They've now got a plus because I can add them back, but I'm just going to say done. And now you can see that the toolbar has changed. And also, if we wanted to change the order, I will show you how to do that. So again, three dots, document editing, toolbar customization. Three dots, document editing, toolbar customization. Now, if I wanted to, you press and hold and drag. Lasso, press and hold press and hold and drag. If ever you don't get a response, sometimes you just need to click out and click back in again, okay? Because, I mean, things happen on a screen. Sometimes it doesn't, it doesn't realize what you're trying to do and there's nothing wrong with it. You just need to refresh the screen or just start again. So that's always useful to do that. Um, now, uh, just say I changed that one as well. All right, so just say I was happy with that and then I was using it and I went, oh, hang on a minute. That's not good. I, I actually want to change it. What you can do if you've sort of lost your way a little bit with it, you can actually just click on reset to default toolbar. So click that. It puts everything back where it was and you can click done. It's back to the way it comes from GoodNotes when you get it. GoodNotes, this is GoodNotes 6. You know that because these icons are here. Good notes five, it, it, it doesn't, doesn't or didn't look like that. Um, and then you can go, okay, now I know where everything's at. I'm going to reorganize them again. And, you know, if you want them all, I actually like them all. There's some I don't use as much. And so what I do is I put the things I use at the beginning and at the end and the ones in the middle I don't use as much. So um, the Zoom window I hardly ever use, the ruler I hardly ever use, and I love the laser. At the moment, I'm not doing many presentations to screen, but the laser's amazing. I'll show you the laser. Going off, going off track here, if you're, if you're screen sharing this, you can actually highlight something. It just fades and disappears, but it's so good to say, look, look, at, that, look at that word, everyone. Look at that. <laughs> and it shows up on the screen where you're screen sharing to, so that's pretty cool. But back into here, document editing, toolbar customization, so pen, eraser, highlighter, the tape is amazing. I use the lasso tool a lot. Um, the shapes, it's really cool how it automatically does shapes for you. And I do use the text box as well. Uh, and then probably the elements and then the images. Yeah, so that's roughly how I sort of go up here. I go down here. That's, that's just how I think. Everyone's different. But yeah, if you want to customize your toolbar, you've got all those options you can do that. So I hope that helps. Good luck with your good notes. And if you've got any questions, let me know down below. Bye.